Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to reset your MySQL password without remembering your old password. So watch this video till end if you really want to reset your MySQL root password. So let's get started. So first of all, you have to stop MySQL services which are running under Windows services. If you remember while installing, we have tick mark on one of the option that is start the MySQL services as soon as your machine gets started. So without stopping that services, we can't uh, do any changes on MySQL. Okay, so for stopping MySQL services, first of all, we will go to services. So just search for services and click on this services app. And here you have to search for MySQL. So just press M and you can see here I'm getting MySQL 8.0. So depending on your version, you will get over here. So I'm having latest version. It is showing me MySQL 8.0. So, and you can see here the status. It is showing as running. So I have to stop this service. So just right click and click on stop option. Okay, so it is stopping the services. So if services are stopped, you cannot run MySQL. So now here you can see I'm getting option start. So I have stopped MySQL services. So now next we are going to write a command for changing the root password. So for that, I'm going to just open a notepad. And here I'm going to type one command that is alter user. My username is root and at the rate localhost that is your running instances which is by default localhost and now you need to give password so in single quote i am giving password as pass123 just close the single quote and put semicolon just check it out this syntax twice whether everything is properly or not so this username should be in single quote instance name should be in single quote as well as your password should be in single quote now you can save this file so I'm just saving this file over here. So I'm giving name as change.txt. Okay, so now command is done. Now I'm going to start command prompt. So just search for CMD and then right click over here, run as administrator. It is asking me permission. I'll click on yes. So my command prompt has started. The command which I'm going to use that is mysqld. It is available in mysql server bin folder. So I have to change this path. So quickly I'll just go to that path. So I'll just go to c colon program files mysql mysql server 8.0 bin and here I'm having one application known as mysqld. You can see over here this application I will be using for changing my password so i'll just copy this path and on my command prompt i'm just going to write cd space and then i'm going to paste that path so you can see now my folder has been changed so now here i'm going to type a command my sql d and after this i'm going to type a option hyphen hyphen defaults don't make any mistake while typing this command defaults hyphen file and here i need to give the ini file name which is nothing but mysql configuration file name and it is available in program data folder so let's again go to c colon here is my c colon but i can't see my program data folder because it is hidden folder so just go to view and click on hidden items now it is visible go to program data go to mysql mysql server 8.0 and now you can see this my.ini file so just copy this path and go to command prompt and here paste the path so i'll just paste the path and then i'll type my.ini and close the double quotes okay after typing this option again we have to type one more option that is the file name which is containing your command so for that i'm going to type hyphen hyphen in it and then hyphen file uh, equal to the path where you have saved your alter command text file so here my file is there in e colon slash sunita slash change dot txt okay and after this i have to type one more option hyphen hyphen console okay so you can see here message ready for connection port number 3306 
so my sql server has been started now if i open my sql command line argument or workbench i will be able to connect with my new password my new password was pass123 so let's try to see whether it is working or not your my sql server is started but as soon as you close this command your my sql will stop so you have to go to services again and start my sql server but before that let's check it out whether it is working or not so i'm going to type mysql command line let me minimize this let me minimize everything and here this is what my mysql command line i'm typing pass 1 2 3 and you can see it has got connected so uh, you can see it is accepting my new password that means my password has been changed successfully so now i'll go to my services again and i'll start mysql services so let me close all this even i'll close this command prompt and i'm going again to services and here i will start mysql services so here is mysql you can see it is not running see i have closed mysql services from command prompt also and here also it is not running if you want to check whether it is working or not you can just go to mysql command line again and just type your password and since services are not running so it will stop let's hit enter button so you can see it's not started so i'll start the services again you can right click and start or you can start from here also no problem so it is starting my services once again and it is showing me running i'll check it out once again so i'm starting mysql command line and here i'm typing my new password pass123 and let me hit enter button and you can see it has connected to my sql server I hope if you are following my video, you are also able to successfully reset your password without knowing your old password. If yes, please do comment in comment box or if you are facing any issue, you can also comment in comment box. I'm going to surely reply to your queries. So guys, if this video has helped you, be sure to give like to this video. Also, if you are new to my channel, please consider to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching my video till then. See you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.